The continuous growth of the global population has motivated the rapid development of fish farming. Norway leads the global production of Atlantic salmon. This is partly due to technological advancements in Norway's aquaculture industry, like the adoption of recirculating aquaculture systems. These systems grow fish in a controlled environment before releasing them into sea cages. Recirculating aquaculture facilities can improve animal welfare, save water and reduce losses due to diseases, environmental changes and escapees. However, some challenges remain. Mass salmon mortality events linked to hydrogen sulfide have recently occurred in recirculating aquaculture systems, but the formation of H2S and its effects on salmon physiology remain poorly understood. The mucosal surfaces of fish interact with chemicals in the water more than any of their other body parts and are highly sensitive to environmental changes. They hold much information about the fish and its environment and could be used to investigate the interactions between H2S and salmon health. The H2 Salar project aims to improve our understanding of the risks and impacts of hydrogen sulfide on the health and welfare of salmon in recirculating systems. The project will benefit fish farming companies and technology providers in developing risk assessment protocols and systems that can control H2S formation. H2 Sala will be instrumental in promoting salmon welfare and reducing losses in the aquaculture industry.